here back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we're the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and trash, smash, demolish, burn your disbelief. I am your favorite YouTuber. I am your favorite manifestation coach. So if you would like for me to help you do that, go ahead and uh, sign up for coaching with me below. It's always in the description box. So I asked you guys, what do you want me to answer? Ask me some questions. It's been a while since I did a QA. and a I've been reading through them already and I'm already like, I'm ready to answer some shit. I don't have any rambling to do in the beginning of this video because I just want to jump into the Q&A really quick and uh, answer as many questions as I can. So let's go ahead and do that. And the first one I want to address right here. I've noticed some teachers saying that you can't decide that your negative thoughts don't manifest. I was wondering what your opinion is on this. Are you joking right now? If a teacher tells you that you can't make your own rules in the law of what? What is it called again? Oh, assumption? <laughs> then I highly recommend you hit that unsubscribe. I highly recommend you hit those three little dots that say not interested in their videos because that is, um, that's an idiot. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. For someone to tell you that in the law of assumption, you can't control your assumptions. They're not a law of assumption teacher. They don't understand the law at all. And I'm sorry that they try to put their limiting beliefs onto you, but tell them you deal with that shit. I'm going to create my own assumptions in the law of assumption. It's right there in the name. It's not rocket science. I also have a Facebook group full of success stories where people have decided that their negative thoughts don't manifest and therefore they don't. There are thousands, millions, probably millions of people in the world whose negative thoughts don't manifest because they don't believe in it. They, Even if they don't know about the law, some people just truly believe that nothing bad ever happens to them. So no matter how much they bitch, whine, complain, nothing bad ever happens because they don't believe it actually would. And again, I have a whole slew of success stories in my group under a post that I made specifically about that topic. There is proof that you can simply affirm, oh, my negative thoughts don't manifest. And they won't. Because you know why? Because that is called an assumption. And when you assume something, it's true. So if you assume your negative thoughts don't manifest and your body and your mind knows what a thought I don't give a shit when they say, oh, there's nothing actually positive and negative. Your higher self knows if something makes you feel like shit or if it makes you feel good. Your higher self knows that when you're saying negative, you're implying something that makes you feel like shit. So basically, nothing that makes me feel like shit can manifest. It's not that hard to comprehend. Tons of people live by that. So if anyone ever tells you, if anyone in, ever gives you any rules, click off, click off the video, okay? Click off the video because there are no rules besides the ones you create for yourself. Don't accept other people's rules as true for you. Manifesting good grades, exams are coming up. Go ahead and decide right now. Exams are so easy for me. I literally pass every exam I take. It's literally no big deal to me. I have perfect grades. I always have perfect grades. Everything is easy for me. Everything is perfect. I ace every exam that I take. Like exams are the easiest thing for me. I just breeze right through them and I pass them with flying colors. That's all you have to do. Think as if those are the easiest things for you and they will be. How to stop wavering and stay persistent. Just do it. That's a choice. That's a choice you have to make to stop wavering and stay persistent. Do you want it or you don't? How to manifest your desired appearance. What do you want to look like? If you have even the slightest idea of what you want to look like, you can simply think that's the way you look. 
complement those features as if those are already your features. If it's a whole lot of things, then you can say, I, you know what, I'm just genetically blessed to be so perfect. Like I have my desired appearance and it was so easy for me to manifest. What does it mean when at one moment we feel really super sure about our manifestation and another moment we doubt? Doesn't mean anything other than the meaning that you assign to it. Just correct yourself when you feel doubt. When you feel doubt and you notice that your manifestation's not here, use your vision. Say, oh my God, that was so easy for me to manifest. I literally manifested that so fast. You don't have to accept it as not being manifested yet. And stop trying to assign meaning to everything. I don't believe in signs or this happening means this. No, meaning only becomes true based on what you assume. What meaning you assign to it is the meaning that it has. Nobody else can tell you what something means for you except for you. Updated thoughts on only having a couple affirmations per subject. I still personally think that's better for me but I've seen people in my group have like 30 affirmations per subject and it still works just fine for them because maybe their brain just needs to go through more. Maybe they feel like they just need to have more of a longer story repeating to, I don't know, help. I don't know. It's, it's really per person. That's, that's the only thing that's really changed since then is instead of me telling you this is what's best, I'm saying that what's best for me is like short, straight to the point, easy for me to replay. But if you want a list of 30 affirmations and that's what works for you, then that's what works for you because whatever you believe is going to work is going to work. That's it. So it's really up to you. That's my updated thoughts on it. How do we totally ignore the 3D when it's where we live? Or does the, or does ignore the 3D just imply to what we don't have? I'm confused. Okay. If it's your, where you're living and you can clearly see you're not living where you want to live. I've talked about this before. A firm think plan as if you are about to move into your place where you want to live. Live and think as if like, oh, I'm moving into my new place this month. I'm, you know, preparing to move into my new place. My new place, I'm so excited to move into my new place. As if it's already bought, paid for, set, signed, sealed, but you just haven't moved in yet. You're moving in like any minute. That's my advice for that. How do you know if you're really living in the end? Are you thinking as if you have it already or if it's, if you're going to have it? That's how you know. What happens if you stop wanting your manifestation before you see it show up in the 3D? If you actually don't want it to manifest, then just change your thoughts about it. If you just feel like you don't care about it anymore, it's probably because you're no longer desiring it and you've moved in the state of having it. And so I would expect it to show up. How do you go about manifesting that someone completely forgets something? I've made a video on this, but literally say they've totally forgotten about it like it never happened. Manifestation is very literal, okay? How do you think you've been creating with your thoughts this whole time up until you learned about the law? By just thinking how you naturally think. Can we change the past? Yes. Have you never heard of revision? You need to search revision. <laughs> Yes, you can change the past by revising it, saying something different happened or imagining something different happened. The idea of soul contracts, because a guy called, I'm not going to mention his name on my YouTube channel, said we may be able to manifest one thing, but not another because of our soul contract. <laughs> he said, for example, one person may be able to manifest career and wealth, but not a significant other because of a contract their soul made before being born. Or another person may be able to manifest a significant other, but not wealth or a dream career because of a soul contract. This guy is, of course, law of attraction. <laughs> oh yeah, I got that. It just rubbed me the wrong way and contradicts law of assumption. Yeah, because that was complete bullshit. That is not true. There is way too much proof in this world that it is simply what you assume is true. Your soul did not make a contract and then come here. You came here because you wanted to, to experience being God and living a wonderful life, experiencing every single thing that would make you happy. 
you can manifest any and everything. Let me, let me tell you something. Your desires, when you desire something, it comes straight from your God self. You could not desire it if it could not be done. You could not desire it if it wasn't for you to have. You could not desire it if you could not manifest it for yourself, if you couldn't experience it. You wouldn't desire it. Your God self is who gives you your desires. If you desire it, it can be done for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't desire it. That's just what it is. I don't give a shit. What? I don't give a shit about any of the, that law of attraction shit. I don't care about none of that. You came here to experience happiness. You came here to be God, okay? To learn yourself as, as God of your reality. You came here to manifest your desires. Have a good time. Do whatever you want for as long as you want. That's what I believe. Someone asked me about aging. I think aging is a human construct. I think it is not supposed to happen. I think that it is just like every other negative limited thing. It's just in the mind. Um, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in aging. And I think that we were put here. I think we chose to come here in this time for a reason to play and have fun and experience for as long as we want i don't think it's limited i don't think it's a limited time unless we assume it is um yeah that that what he said was stupid <laughs> what he said was so stupid absolutely not true you can manifest if you can desire it you can manifest it how can I manifest the big things instantly? Nothing is big or small except for in your mind. That's it. If you can manifest seeing a fucking yellow car instantly, then you can manifest whatever it is that you consider big the same way. But you need to tell yourself it's just as easy. Manifesting this is as easy as manifesting a yellow car. It's whatever you tell yourself, bro. Girl, whatever. Can you restart your manifestation if your desires change? Yes. You can change your mind at any time. You do not have to stick to something because you wanted it a month ago, a year ago. Your mind changes all the time. If your desires change, be like, never mind. Switch it up. Change your thoughts. The second you change your thoughts, you're in a whole new state, okay? You don't have to stick with one desire if you change your mind change your thoughts start manifesting the new one restart whatever you want to call it we know you don't have to feel good to manifest but do you think that being in a good mood speeds up manifestation i do and while of course like she said you don't have to be in a good mood to manifest why would you not want to be in a good mood you can literally tell yourself if you're in a bad mood or you don't feel good or you're unhappy or you're feeling any kind of negative emotion, you can tell yourself, I'm so happy, I'm so excited, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. Get yourself hyped up in a good mood. Telling yourself you're so happy or telling yourself you're so excited literally convinces you and your body, which is where your emotions come from, that you are. And then go into affirming. I personally think that it does work better. Sammy, what is the best method for penetrating the subconscious mind? I need to speak on this. Stop worrying about trying to impress your subconscious mind. That should not be your concern at all. Your concern, your only concern, should be thinking as if you have what you want. A lot of you spend so much time focused on looking for ways to know you've impressed your subconscious mind, looking for signs, looking for birds before land, looking for dreams. Stop doing that. Just assume you already have what you want and leave it at that. You do not have to worry about impressing your subconscious mind. You just have to think as the person that has what you want. Stop making this hard. What do you do to motivate yourself when you aren't seeing quick changes or evidence of what you want in the 3D yet? How do you, how often do you affirm for your manifestations throughout the day? I don't focus on how often I affirm for whatever I'm manifesting or whatever. I affirm when I'm feeling like affirming, when I'm thinking of the thing. But then if I ever get to a point where I'm like, okay, this is not manifesting fast enough for me. Like I need things, I need to see things moving. Um, I want my shit. 
I will revise it and I'll say, oh my God, that was so, you know, that was so easy for me to manifest. I manifested that so fast. You can revise <laughs> your success story. So if you're feeling like nothing's happening, your manifestation's not here yet, you're noticing it's not here yet, revise it in your head and say, that manifested so fast. That was so easy for me to manifest. I can move on to something else now. That was so easy. It's really that simple and straight to the point. Manifestation is really that simple and straight to the point. You're just thinking as if you've already done something, already had something, or it is happening. Is it enough to say affirmations without feeling? Yes, you don't have to feel anything. It's your thoughts, it's not your feelings. Your feelings don't manifest. How to rise above the negative options and become a badass? Tell yourself you're a badass. I'm a boss ass bitch. I know exactly what I'm doing. I always get what I want. I always have gotten whatever I wanted and I always will get whatever I want. Cause I'm a boss ass bitch. Talk to yourself like that. We can manifest instantly. What do you think about time? Time is not real. Shift into the state where you already have what you want. Think from the, think from, the, okay. <clears throat> I guess I need to mention I will do a video on this because I did, this was a topic we talked about in the group. Um, realities, states, Neville called it states, you can call it realities. There are 100% infinite realities, which means there's infinite options, which means this is why we can manifest things out of thin air. You can be looking all over the house for your keys that you know were on the table, but they're no longer on the table. And then you keep thinking, you know what? No, my keys are here. I have my keys. I'm so happy I have my keys. It was so easy. I have my keys. And then all of a sudden, boom, they're on the table. Out of thin air, like we've talked about. It's because when you are thinking as if something is another way than what it was a minute ago, you it's a slight shift in reality. Everything still looks the same except for that one key detail, because there are infinite, meaning there is no set amount. <laughs> there are infinite realities, which means there is a reality where your keys are now where you need them to be. So you thought as if that was true already, and it shifted you into that reality where those keys are true, are, are there. So that's, you can do that instantly because there are infinite realities and you can instantly shift into whatever reality you need to be in for you to experience this thing that you desire. This is why I say, if you desire it, you can have it. Because if you can desire it, that means the reality exists where that thing is already true. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a whole video on that based on my post, I might do it next. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. Should we do visualization or affirmations is enough. Whatever you assume is gonna work for you is what's gonna work for you. But affirmations are just thoughts. If you change your thoughts, you're going to experience something different. What, I wanted to ask you what affirmations you use to get your fast results, that get you fast results. Um, whatever affirmations are most natural to me is what works the fastest. So use whatever affirmations are most natural to you. There's no specific set affirmations. It's whatever sounds best to you. My battery is about to die. So I'm gonna cut this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.